Can we trust the media? Wait until you hear what award-winning journalist Cheryl Atkinson has to say. As you know, social media censorship is growing and impacting the reach of our videos as well. The best way to support us is to sign up for our newsletter on pulseofisrael.com and share our videos. If you are already a subscriber, then thank you. Here I am in the land of Israel about to share some truth bombs with you. This is the land of truth. So here we go. Quote, if the people in the media are reporting the same stories, promulgating the same narratives, relying on the same sources, even using the same phrases when everybody is on the same page, it might be the result of an organized campaign. End quote. That was Cheryl Atkinson, an American award-winning journalist and television correspondent. So, here are just a few of the narratives the media, all of them, like to tell us. Number one. The Jewish people have no right to our ancestral homeland, Israel. Sorry, folks. Yes, we do. It's our ancestral and historic eternal homeland. Number two. The Jewish state of Israel is occupying our biblical homeland of Judea and Samaria, a.k.a. the West Bank. No, folks, we are not. International law and history proves otherwise. You cannot occupy your own homeland. Number three. Palestinians are the indigenous population to the land of Israel. No, they are not. There never was a historic people called Palestinians. There were Palestinian Jews and Palestinian Arabs who together lived under the British Mandate of Palestine. Most Arab Muslims in Israel actually came from neighboring Arab countries during the late 19th century, early 20th century for jobs because there was no work in the Ottoman Empire and here in Israel there was work with the Jews building up our homeland. A small minority of Arab Muslims here in Israel were here for hundreds of years. Some of them were actually Jews who had converted to Islam, like the ancestors of the village of Yatta near the city of Hebron, just behind me. Number four, Obama was the most Jewish president. No, he wasn't, folks. Obama was a leftist who co-opted the tikkun olam, fixing the world philosophy of leftist Judaism that is disconnected from authentic Judaism. Number five, President Trump was an anti-Semite. No, he wasn't. President Trump was the best president of the American Jewish people and the state of Israel. He fought against anti-Semitism in the U.S. and abroad while standing shoulder to shoulder with Israel as a true ally like no president ever before. And that is the best way to fight the growth of anti-Semitism. Number six, criticizing George Soros is anti-Semitic and therefore wrong. No, it makes no difference if George Soros was born as a Jew. He, as a person, does not represent Judaism or the Jewish people. Soros' globalist policies destroying countries around the world, including the United States, has nothing to do with him being born a Jew. It is okay to criticize him. Number six, Jews are globalists. No, we are not. Jews are Jews. There are conservative Jews, liberal Jews, religious Jews, non-religious Jews, atheist Jews, capitalist Jews, socialist Jews, Jews who are bankers, Jews who are teachers, Jews who are garbage men, philosophers, etc. You name it, and somewhere around the world there is a Jew that fits that category. Number six, Biden won the election. No, he didn't. The truth about the election fraud is out there for all to see, and more and more truth will be revealed each day when, until everyone's going to know the truth. Number seven. Trump supporters are domestic terrorists. No, they are not. Trump supporters are patriots who supported Trump's agenda to drain the D.C. swamp and expose the corruption and hypocrisy on both sides of the aisle of D.C. and return the power of government to the American people to make America prosperous and great again for all Americans, regardless of skin color, or religion, identity, and all the other identity politics. Number eight. Antifa Black Lives Matter activists are human rights activists. No, they are not. They are domestic terrorists destroying cities around the United States with an agenda to destroy America from within. Number nine. The International Court of Justice is about international justice. No, it isn't. It is a political tool that is going after the Jewish state of Israel, siding with the terrorists of the Palestinian Authority. Number 10. Men and women are the same. No, they are not. Biologically, physically, emotionally, and psychologically, men and women are different, and we should celebrate our differences. Folks, follow the science. Number 11. Transgenders have every right to participate in women's sports. Otherwise, it is offensive to transgenders. No, they do not have that right. 
They are ruining female sports, destroying the opportunity of biological women to progress in competitive sports. Competitive sports should be based on the biological makeup of a person. Biological men should compete with biological men. If people are offended by that, well, it's okay to be offended. All people get offended in life. That's how we develop thick skin, perseverance, and a personality to overcome and succeed in life. Number 12. Corona, COVID-19 can only be stopped with the vaccine. No, there is a medication that people can take upon early diagnosis. Look it up. Now, everyone, if you follow me, you hear, read, and see what the agenda-driven media is not telling us. This is only some of it. So I just want to end with the final, final important message. Trust in God even if things don't make sense, but never trust in man if things don't make sense. And finally, there is nothing to fear but fear itself. Life is good. Be happy and share that happiness with others. There is so much good to enjoy and celebrate. And with that, just signing off from the place of truth, the closest place to God in the world, the eternal and ancestral homeland of the Jewish people, the land of Israel here in the Judean Hills. Shalom, everyone, and thanks for watching. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.